account. So it's all good. Okay. All right. So let me start at the child table. There are only two tables here, so not much to look at in terms of structure, right? But um, what I was thinking about is the possibility of having, you know, many tasks related to a project or whatever. In this case, I have initiatives and projects, but parent and child and thinking like maybe, you know, I see I have all of these projects and I want to update all of their status based on what I know about an initiative, right? Yeah. And so um, I wanted, you know, not a list of buttons or, you know, a formula query that gives me a button for one or, or, you know, something like that. I wanted a place where I could, you know, clearly like act on the parent record while looking at the child records. And so of course, if you click here, you know, th th they collapse by, by default, but you can set um, a formula rich text field, um, at, you know, for your sorting and grouping behavior. And, you know, if you right click and then open link a new tab, it follows the URL uh, that you see, you know, down below and in, in the, uh, the black, uh, black and with white text, right? So, um, or if you do control and click, it does the same thing, right? So what I, if I click here on get certified and I need to move this, all right. Um, if I click here, and open link a new tab. So now you'll see all my projects are closed or complete, right? Um, and so this, you could, you could take this further, like you could have uh, a field here that's may, maybe the, 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 the action is not to click on get certified, but you could have, you know, a series of uh, clickable links here. And, and click on any one of them and update, you know, wholesale all of the all of the statuses if you'd like. So uh, that's that's how it works. Um, you have any questions about that, or you know, look look under the hood? Yeah, let's look under the hood. So what 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 it's, what is the rich tech field actually look like? Yeah. So it's called a summary label here, and here it is. So I've got some title text in case you hover over it, it'll tell you this. I don't think I stopped the hover with you, but um, then it has your URL, which is the API to edit the record, have my app token, uh, and it's editing the, that parent record. Um, so I have a, a field up there in that parent record that is a date time. So I insert the date time. and Later, I'll talk about that. Uh, but after that's done, uh, it does a redirect and brings you back to wherever you were. So the text it shows is is the uh, initiative name, and then um, the label itself for that grouping and summary is is you know here, just anchor tags with the the hover text and the title and the the URL and and the name uh, of the initiative. And so um, if and I have a place here where um, I'm looking up that webhook trigger date time. So if it's if it's already run, then I'm just showing the label, which is this name. Otherwise, I'm showing. Oh, sorry, I got it backwards, right? If it hasn't run, I'm showing um, this this label um, with the anchor tags. Otherwise, I'm just showing the name, which is why it went from a hyperlink to just you know simple text after I clicked it. Got it. Um. That's very cool. So for like for people that are going to use this Q-tip, it seems like there would be some prerequisites, like things that they would want to know, yeah. be familiar with, with like, what do you think? What do you yeah. think? Who, who, do you, who do you think is like right to sort of use, use this Q-tip? Well, you know, I think intermediate builders, anyone who's starting to, to tinker with webhooks um, or, or um, HTTP API requests, Know, anyone, anyone who's you know learning, you know magic buttons, yeah, uh, those those kinds of things, you know, maybe interested in this. Uh, for me, it was kind of like I, I wanted to do it a different way and, and prove out that it was possible. Uh, this is not in production or anything like that, so I haven't like 
got a whole bunch of feedback from from uh, from users. But um, do you want to so see? Sorry, go basically, ahead. you you created a way so that your project title, if all the tasks were complete, rather than having just like a button, you would just be able to just yeah, right click, open up a new tab, and all the and mm -hmm. the, the basically the the webhook that's inside the rich text would would progress all the tasks to a completed step. So you haven't seen the webhook yet. Um, I, I can show that to you. Uh, so the, this the click, what it does is it inserts the date time here in the parent record. That event triggers the webhook that does the rest. I see. So I'll need to show you how that's done. Um, if we look at um, one of these projects, you'll notice there is, well, maybe it's not on this form. Like I said, I haven't worked on the forms at all. Um, so let me add that real quick. Ah, no, I, I confused my solutions. I don't have a payload here. The, 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 the payload is up in initiatives. Here it is, yeah. So it, the parent records um, have a webhook payload built out and it, it leverages the, the record IDs. So it's combined, combined text of the record IDs. And then uh, for this purpose, I, you know, I, I'm using I'm setting all the tasks to complete, right? And um, so this is, I need to slow down. So record ID is the first position, um, the record ID of each of the children, yeah. right? That need to be updated. Um, um, record ID of the parent is the second position. So this is uh, initiative number one, right? Yeah. Down here is number two. Then I have the status that I'm inserting, um, the date timestamp and um, the, uh, you know the user, and so this this payload here up in the parent, when that webhook triggered, date time is updated. Uh, here's the webhook. It you know it posts um, posts to the child table, which is the projects under initiatives, and, um, and it's an import from from CSV. So it's going to this C list. It's inserting that pay, that webhook payload, all those records. Um, according to the C list, and you know, updates them very quickly. Very cool. So it's awesome. really, it's really like a scenario where you can demonstrate that ClickBase can be very fast, um, especially like if you know, pipelines are great for some things, webhooks are better for other things. Um, there, there's not like a one to one for me. Like sometimes you need one or the other. Uh, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. But this is a scenario where you can demonstrate that we're making two API calls and updating the parent and all of the children in the time that your browser can refresh, which I think is pretty cool. So, that is I mean, that's, yeah. um, there are things that pipelines can't do, there are things that webhooks can't do, but this is an example of like, hey, if you need it to be fast, it, it can be fast. Um, I don't know that I've, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure many, there's many builders in our community that are, that are doing things like this, but I, I don't know that I've seen examples of people utilizing, like opening a new tab to sort of progress a workflow, mm -hmm. right? Like I'd always thought of opening a new tab as just like, oh, I, I need another tab just to keep doing my work to have, a, I have another document that I need to look at and another report I need to look at. But right. in this case, in this case, you've used the refresh of a browser to sort of be a vehicle <laughs> for right. for for production, which is pretty cool. Yep. So right click, left click. By the time you get there, it's all updated. So that's awesome. Yeah. All right. And all I, right. you know. If if I was going to use this in production, I'd probably change this summary field. You know, I'd have you know probably a list 
um, or a series of different updates I could, you know, I could click on, I could choose the one I want, right? Uh, click, you know, right click, left click on the one I want, and then, um, you know, maybe even leave the others active. And so I could open another tab if I needed to, but, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna stop recording. Yeah, sure.